This is my latest iteration <clears throat> of my uh, self-balancing gyroscope made from a hard disk drive. Hard disk drive and uh, five platters. Uses a counterweight to to uh, maneuver the or to change the uh, precession of the gyroscope so that it will balance <clears throat> balance the uh, gyroscope on two <clears throat> on two little uh, uh, points and uh, <clears throat> this version uses two sensors it uses a tilt sensor for uh, measuring the angle the tilt angle of the entire uh, uh, frame mechanism and then it uses a the potentiometer to measure the tilt of the of the gimbal and uh, so the program uh, first uh, checks the angle of the gimbal to make sure it's level and if it's not level then it uh, it modifies the position of the of the uh, servo uh, counterweight then it checks the angle of the the tilt of the entire mechanism <clears throat> and uh, makes any gross changes and then uh, goes back and checks the gimbal angle again back and forth back and forth and uh, it's pretty stable um, you can push it around and it'll get it back into a, a balanced position and before my earlier versions they would only balance for a few minutes and then I'd get an erratic reading and it would throw it all off but once I started balancing the gimbal again with this second sensor um, it takes care of those erratic readings And I'm still using the PID, but I only use P. Uh, I don't use the integral or the derivative. If I turn the power off, you see that it'll fall over. So this sensor here checks the tilt of the entire frame and then this sensor here checks the tilt of the of the gyroscope itself, the gimbal. And uh, it needs both sensors. Uh, this sensor uh, keeps the, basically in balance but if the gimbal starts whenever you whenever it starts to fall it will precess the gyro into uh, an angle like this and it'll just make it worse so <clears throat> by checking the angle of the gimbal I can make corrections to the counterweight and put it back into a neutral position and then that keeps it more balanced I guess the uh, next uh, oh the other thing I have up here is <coughs> I have a, a weight uh, on the top and uh, that just serves to neutralize the weight of the of the uh, gyroscope itself a little bit more makes it easier to control um, but it is a bottom heavy gyro it's uh, I've done this four years ago I, I did the same project but I used a top heavy gyro and, with a single sensor and now I'm using two sensors and it's a bottom heavy I like the bottom heavy gyro better because uh, there's no no possibility of it of it flipping over if it's top heavy uh, there's always the possibility that uh, if you have a major movement uh, of the uh, frame 
uh, it will knock it out of alignment and, and uh, it'll flip over. Uh, so with the weight always at the bottom, it's more stable. It's a more stable uh, configuration. I'm also still using uh, uh, the, the ESC, the Electronic Speed Controller, uh, which allows me to run this uh, disc motor at uh, about 120%, so it runs uh, about 9,000 RPM. Uh, my next step will be to get a, a larger a motor with a larger spindle so I can put some more discs on there. Uh, the more mass you have, the more stable this should be and it won't need as many corrections.